the latest stable release of GNS3 is 1.5.3. In this example, I'm running a version 1.5.0 version of GNS3, and I'm going to demonstrate how to upgrade this GNS3 version to the latest stable release. Now, before I do an upgrade, notice that I have multiple devices available. So as an example, there are multiple routers, there are multiple switches available, multiple devices, and so forth. As per best practices, I'm using the GNS3 VM. Notice the version of the GNS3 VM is 1.5.0, and the GUI is also using version 1.5.0. Now, in the GNS3 GUI, you can go to Help, Check for Update to see if there are any newer releases available. Now this is showing that version 1.5.2 is available. Do I wanna download it? And I'm gonna click yes. Now that's been superseded by 1.5.3, but I'm gonna click on free download, which will download the latest release of GNS3. So I'm gonna log in. Now in this case, because I'm running Windows, I'm gonna download the Windows release of GNS3. I don't need to download the GNS3 VM. We'll do an upgrade of the GNS3 VM directly within the GNS3 VM. So I'm gonna click on download to download the Windows GUI to my local computer. And that's now downloading. It's about 50 meg in size. Okay, so the GNS3 1.5.3 all-in-one executable has been downloaded. Before I run that, I'm gonna exit or quit the GNS3 GUI. And now I can double click the executable file to start the installation. This is a separate process to the GNS3 VM. We'll upgrade the GNS3 VM later in this video. So the welcome wizard starts up. We told that it's recommended that we close all other applications so that we don't have to reboot now I've done that, so I'm gonna click Next. GNS3 is open source free software licensed under the GNU General Public License. So read the terms of the license and click Agree. You then need to specify your startup folder. I'm gonna choose Defaults, so I'm gonna click Next. You can now select which components to install. Some components such as the SolarWinds Response Time Viewer are optional so you could uncheck that option if you don't want to install it. Other options such as Dynamips and GNS3 are required as part of the installation. Please refer to the GNS3 documentation for more information about what's required and what's optional. I'll also add a link below this video to the documentation. Click Next. Select your installation folder. I'm going to stay with the defaults once again. The space required is about 155 meg. Click Install. Now in this example, when PCAP 4.1.3 is already installed on my machine, so I'm not going to install it again. You can click OK if you wanna override the installation, but that's not needed in my case. Wireshark is downloaded from the internet and is then installed as part of the GNS3 installation. So be careful. If your internet speeds are slow or expensive, you may not want to download this additional software. So you may not want to download and install Wireshark, and you may not want to download and install SolarWinds as an example. So here you can see that SolarWinds is being downloaded, and now the installation of SolarWinds starts. Put in your email address to register the SolarWinds software, click Continue. Follow the prompts to install SolarWinds. You will need to agree to their license agreement. So if you agree, accept that and click Next. Decide where you want to install the software. I'm essentially just following the defaults. So click Next to start the SolarWinds installation. So click Next. That's now completed, so click Finish. The core GNS3 software is now installed. That's now completed, so click Next. Now you can download a free copy 
of the SolarWinds standard tool set. I'm not gonna do that here. I've added a link below the video so that you can download that. Click Next. I'm not gonna start GNS3 at this point, so I'm gonna uncheck that option. We need to upgrade the GNS3 VM first. So I'm gonna click Finish. A thank you page is displayed and you're given links to the GNS3 documentation, the GNS3 Academy, and the GNS3 Marketplace. Now that the GNS3 GUI is updated, we need to update the GNS3 VM. In this example, I'm using VMware Workstation. So in the GNS3 VM, we're going to choose the upgrade option. Now we're told that we should snapshot the GNS3 VM before doing an upgrade. So it's a good idea to take a snapshot of your GNS3 VM in case something goes wrong. So I'm gonna choose no and shut down the VM. The GNS3 VM has now shut down. I'm gonna to go to VM, snapshot, take snapshot, and name this 1.5.0. So in case something goes wrong, I can always revert back to the snapshot. I'll start up the VM again. So the GNS3 VM is booting up, and there you go. So select upgrade. We warned again that we should take a snapshot. I've done that, so I'm gonna select yes. And notice now that the GNS3 VM connects to the internet, downloads software, and is automatically upgraded. So this process is fairly simple. You just have to wait for the GNS3 VM to download the required software and do an upgrade. The big thing is you need internet access from the GNS3 VM. So just wait for that process to continue. The GNS3 VM will now reboot. And as you can see now, we're using GNS3 version 1.5.3. So I can start the GNS3 GUI, which will check that the VM is up, and I can load a project. So here's my previous project. Notice all the devices I had previously still exist and are available. So as an example, I could start up this topology and open up a console to each of those devices. So here, as an example, is router four, which I added to the topology. So that's an example of how to do an upgrade from version 1.5.0 to 1.5.3. In this example, notice now that the version used is 1.5.3. And that's true for the GUI as well as for the GNS3 VM. Devices previously used in the topology are available now in the new version of GNS3. I hope this video has been of benefit to you. If it has, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.